so happy. It's a, you know, that's the thing about this game and that team, you can't draw anything up. I, I told the guys, there's not a play I can draw up in huddle because they're just going to run and jump and trap. And it just comes down to play basketball. And anytime you get out of here with a win, no matter how ugly or no matter how it happens, you're extremely uh, fortunate. And our guys did a great job of just battling, got down, could have folded, they didn't, especially after what happened on Thursday. Uh, Carlos is 60%. Three-point shooter makes it three to three. Damari played uh, really, really well. So uh, it's a beautiful win to me because this is this is a tough place for us to play. Yeah, I think yeah they just kept on battling. They got a lot of stake, you know. After what happened on Thursday, they want to be whack champs, and you can't go on a road trip, especially when you know you want to win it that first one. So uh, as I told them, it's, it's up to you guys. There's not a whole lot I can do with it as a coach of the team. Just traps and jumps. And, can't run a play, so it just comes down to playing basketball. And the guys made some big plays, and we finally started uh, getting some stops here in the second half. For a while there, we couldn't stop them. They were shooting 75 percent, 80 percent. It's hard to, to, to get anything going when you can take the ball out of the basket. So uh, we did it on the defense. And our defense out. And, uh, it's tough, and uh, especially in a game like this, because our bigs are guarding uh, small forwards. So it's tough for Ali and Michael to uh, to play in the guard out there. So. Uh, you know, our two heart and soul guys, Matt and, and Jared, Jared tried to go and just couldn't do it. And so, uh, with those two guys missing, it, it's tough, but we, we gutted it out. As I say, you know, Damari plays, ends up playing 39 minutes and uh, really had a heck of a performance. Yeah, well, we got the right guy shooting him. You know, Damari's been a good three-point shooter. Uh, he was last year. Uh, Michael uh, has to find a way to get more shots. Uh, Oscar has started to come around, um, so that was good. And then Carlos with that big one and Tim. Uh, you know, he hit a big uh, a three for us, and that's one of his uh, things that he has to do for us is be able to spot up and, and make jumpers. So uh, that first half, that's what really kept us, uh, you know, got us that lead is that I think we were 7 for 12 at 3. And sometimes you just got to find a way, especially in a scrambling situation, you know, they're going to double ollie and not let anything go in the post, and you got to just make shots. Yeah, that's what Oscar do, has to do. He's got to be very active and, like I said, not rely on his jump shot. He hit a few early, but uh, just his activity defensively and, uh, the way he can uh, block shots and rebound the basketball, he's got to continue to get better at that. But overall, another great effort. I mean, we are rebounding 40 to 30, so we're, we're continuing with the theme of uh, of trying to out rebound the teams. And a little concerned, I knew they, you know, this is a team that forces 18 turnovers, and we had 19. But I still think that we're really too careless with the ball, and uh, you know, it doesn't really set in for a while that you can't make one-handed passes or you can't wait for the ball to come to you. You have to attack the ball to go get it. And anytime you spin dribble, somebody's going to be there. So. Uh, I thought Trey really had a hard time with that, just the phys physicality. Yeah, and I was telling the rest, just because they trap all the time doesn't allow them to foul. I mean, they're just in there trapping all the time, and they were fouling. And I, I thought we got the raw end of that deal, but whatever. Well, they knew uh, they knew that this was this was a game that we couldn't lose if if we had the dreams that we have and what we talked about last night. We had a great team meeting last night uh, after we got in. You know, a long day of travel, and uh, we got sat down and really had a heart to heart and talked about some things and. Uh, these guys have been resilient all year long, and they, they listen to what I say, and I think they take it in. And uh, they showed here tonight. We knew this was going to be a tough game, and uh, it wasn't looking good there for a while. But our guys, I think, dug deep and uh, just found a way to win. So it just shows the character of our guys and how hard they play. I know Ollie's frustrated. He should be. It's, it's tough, and I ask a lot of him. I'm on him. Uh, he's guarding guys that are five inches tall or shorter than he is, and they, they're quick, and I ask him to keep in front. and. He's getting beat up down there, so uh, I feel for the kid, but I'm not going to stop pushing him. Uh, he's going to be fine. Uh, we just got to keep working on him, and as, as I told him, when we throw that ball in the post and they double, just accept the double team and, and make plays for other people, but these type of games, they're hard to play, and it was like when we played LaSalle. It's just, you know, there's just so much trapping. It's just they, they want to, you know, speed up the game. They want to not take you out of your comfort zone, not let you run your plays, and they did a good job of it. I mean, he did a great job of, of coaching that team, and uh, almost pulled off a, a, a good win for him. That's one of the reasons why I recruited uh, Carlos and JJ. You know, JJ's red shirt is that both those kids are extremely tough, not only physically but mentally. Uh, and you saw that at Carlos at New Mexico State. You know, I talked about you don't know, we have the horses when we go to New Mexico State. Um, well, you know, Carlos is one of those guys that doesn't shy away from the moment, doesn't always do the right thing. You know, he's still turning the ball over too much, but he's learning. But he has. A lot of onions, as Bill Rafferty would say, and is not afraid of the big moment. And so is Damari. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I recruited him and JJ. They're tough kids. Uh, they got a lot of confidence in their ability. Uh, they're not going to shy away from anybody. So uh, that was a big shot. I mean, it, I, I give our guys a lot of credit because, you know, when that, when that ball went in on Thursday night, I, I told our guys I was in shock. I was for 15, 20 seconds. I, I, and I still really can't 
you kind of see it and you can't believe it because it happened so quick and it was just such a great shot. Uh, and you have the, the, you know, the, the game in your grasp. And, and I can imagine what it's for our kids who are you know, 18, 19, 20, 21 years old who play their butts off and has never won at Las Cruces. And it's a team that we want to beat and fight. And to see that shot goes in, you've got to give them a lot of credit for uh, staying the course and, and fighting and find a way to win uh, just a night later, so two nights later. So especially here, I mean, it took us all day to get here. It's a tough place for us. So uh, just really proud of our guys. Really proud.